Hello guys, today we're going to be learning how to use a laser missile defense system. Um, I made one of these in the past, uh, I just, they came out with a few new blocks for it, so I really wanted to just, you know, touch on it like all of these. <laughs> Looks confusing, and there's not a lot of videos out for it, so I just wanted to go ahead and like make an updated video for it. <clears throat> um, also, I'm going to be coming out with a steam engine video because these things are amazing for bigger ships. Um, this right here is pumping out 28,000 uh, power, I should say. It's really good. Um, I've already got them fitted on some of my ships, but uh, that'll be a different video. For this video, we're going to be doing the laser missile defense, okay? So basically, everything revolves around this multi-purpose laser, okay? Um, you can honestly just... It, depending on if you're making a big ship, if you're putting this in a base, you can honestly put it anywhere you want. Um, for So for this right here, we're going to put this in this, like, right there. And then go ahead and mirror it. <clears throat> um, basically, this is where your laser is going to uh, be made, I guess you could say. Um, this is what everything will attach to. Uh, so for this, we're going to go ahead and put a couple of these out. You really, uh, d basically, um, you're going to want to put... Um, couplers uh, all around wh wherever you can uh, this this is actually going to be like what uses the power what the power is going to feed into for your laser uh, so you're only going to want to put on as many as your power supply can handle um, so we're going to go ahead and probably just use two for this um, also uh, you see these Q switches these um, th there's a max of uh, four which go into the coupler on uh, all around it this is basically how fast your laser will fire. So if you want it to fire the fastest, which is what I recommend, you want four. Uh, this gives it the most chance to hit the target. So we're going to go ahead and put four. Um, you, you don't need to have four. You can you know mess around with just having three, two, or even one. Um, if you don't have any, it just creates a solid beam. Uh, but this is it's not as strong. Um, it, I mean, it's it would be good for closer range if the laser actually hits. Uh, but for, you know, multiple missiles, I believe that, you know, having all four is m more worthwhile. <clears throat> so these right here. So this is where your power is going to be stored. Um, this, the large storage cavity, which stores the most power, uh, it, it's all right. Um, you can use it if you want. Uh, personally, I just prefer the single cavities. They're the most simple. These you can't put uh, any pumps onto. Um... <clears throat> so we're going to just go ahead and use the regular ones, but you can feel free to use this if you want. It just stores the most power. It's good for really big missile defense systems. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just put a bunch of these on here. Like that. Uh, as you notice, there's no power being put into these. Uh, there's no you know, heavy load on the system or anything, so there's no power going to it. So what you want to do is you want to put pumps on this. So these allow the power to actually go inside of the um, cells. It also controls, the more you have on it, the faster the power goes into the actual uh, banks. So the more the better, if you can fit. You can also kind of control how fast your laser system feeds on the power of doing this as well. So there you go. Your laser is pretty much set up. Um, now you just want to add penetration and um, damage. So the penetration, um, basically, the, you don't need a lot for missiles. Um, I mean, the most I would go is probably, f you know, four or five, something like that. Uh, just, just because missiles aren't that thick, obviously. Um, but y you can add more if you want. Uh, obviously, you know, maybe it, it'll probably help you with the missile, but it's uh, take out the missile quicker. But it's not, you know, it's not mandatory. The one you do want is the destabilizer. It increases the damage, um, but it also increases the energy. Um, just add a couple of these. It depends on how long your actual laser line is. Something like this, you won't need that many. Um, but if you, because if you want more damage on the laser, you might as well just add another line of these. Uh, it'll make your entire laser more stronger. This is just a simple one. So after you have all this set up, this is ma this is the majority of the work right here. You basically have your laser set up. Um, there's two ways you can connect your laser system. Okay, the first way is 
you know, just go up from with these. And then you can uh, attach see, this right here. There you go. There's your laser defense system. The way I do it, uh, to make it more simpler, is I use... Um, uh, excuse me. Where's it at? I use a transceiver. This basically lets you, you know, beam the laser through your whole ship or whatever you have. Um, so that way you don't need to have a sling of these around and it won't get it broken as easily in combat. So what we're going to do is do that. Uh, just to give you an example, we're going to go ahead and build up like this. And then go like, well, grab one of those. Ah, Jesus, okay. Grab one of those. This is just to show, um, and then basically it'll create a line like this. This beams it through the whole ship, it goes through blocks, um, you know, so that way it doesn't break as easy, it doesn't take damage, and it's, you know, more efficient. So you do that, and then you, uh, let me go ahead and extend that up one, just go like this. So this is what your basic, uh, if it's, let's say it's on a ship, this is what it's going to basically look like. Um, so from there, what you do is you just stick these on all sides. Uh, the more you, you want to stick them on all sides because you have more of a chance to actually hit things. Um, they recently added this as well. So uh, you can actually move the range up higher. Uh, this was not in here when these first came out, and it's very helpful. So uh, I leave the angle the same. You can kind of flirt with the idea of changing it if you want. Um, but that's what I usually do. So what we're going to do is set up a couple more because I'm going to spawn in a flying squirrel just to show you guys, you know, it actually works. Go like that. Go like that. So that these two are connected now. And then we're going to go ahead and just put these on uh, all sides. And then go ahead and boost the range up. You don't have to do this. Uh, you can change and do whatever you want. Um, most of the, the laser systems I do with are a lot bigger than this, which I could, you know, show here in a minute. Um, but this is just the basics, base, basis. Uh, honestly, you, you could even use this for a actual laser turret, um, if you wanted to. It's the same process, you know, except you're adding the optics on the end rather than the, uh, laser missile defense on that. So this is your anti-missile, okay? Um... But the thing is, is now you need an AI to actually find the missiles when they come in. So we're going to go ahead and put an AI over here. Uh, go ahead and just do this. Add one of these. Couple connectors. Um, so I don't know. Obviously, you're going to have a ship together. So I'm not sure if you actually do need uh prioritization you probably don't but just in case then a transmitter all right so let's set up so what we're going to do now is go once you have the ai set up you're going to use these connectors and you're just going to go ahead and uh mirror it quick basically you're going to want these surrounding your whole ship you don't need to go crazy because they do have a decent uh, range. But what you're going to want is a munitions warner. Uh, the same would go with the laser warner. If you were having uh, issues with lasers and be shooting lasers, you'd use this in smoke. But for our purpose, we're going to use munition warners. And these basically just automatically detect if there's a missile coming in. This is what lets you actually find and shoot at the uh, missiles. So this should be sufficient for what we want. Hopefully this whole thing doesn't get blown up. And then you'll put a receiver on there. See how these are all being, you know, these are all fine. So what we're going to do, go ahead, go to, actually I'll use a duster. What is that under? Uh, actually. Alright. There we go. Works perfectly. If you look at the bottom right, you can kind of see what the load is when the, when it fires. Okay, we're going to go ahead and delete him, and we're going to use a flying squirrel just because of, uh... <clears throat> just because they're easier, they drop more bombs and stuff like that. What would that be, under helicopters? It's like drones.
Alright, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't, uh... Okay. So the reason why these didn't target earlier is because we don't have any missile warners back here. And then as soon as those... Yeah. Okay. So what you'd want to do in this situation is just go ahead and add missile warners back here. Um, but since this will be attacking from this way... Oh, go on missiles. See, there you go. Just like that. So this would kill the missiles quicker if we had, um, you know more damage, a bigger laser system. It would work a lot better. Uh, this is on the small side, obviously. So, And since the uh, receiver just got blown off and just replaced, it didn't see any of that. Um, to give a better idea of the uh, laser systems you can make, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spawn in one of my bigger ships. Uh, this ship is 60,000 blocks. So we're going to go and spawn this in and then spawn in that one of those. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead. See, I have um, all of them laser missile defense. Uh, let's see if I can find it in here somewhere. Okay, so here is my missile defense. Um, I do have a bit of penetration. Actually, you can actually go, if you go to the main block, you can see what everything is. So I've got 1,373 pulse damage and 22 AP. Um, and then this is, you know, in the main part, so it won't get destroyed. This is what I have. Um, so we'll go ahead and see how good this is. So we're going to go ahead and hop over to that. And we're going to go ahead and shut everything hunting, hunting, off, hunting, hunting, go ahead and delete that. And then spawn in a bunch of flying squirrels. Alright. See what happens. So as you can see, some missiles do barely get through. But, it works pretty well. If it gets like above, the uh oh yeah so this has the steam engine in it um so it's actually going to take a little bit to warm up here that's why you see all the power flickering but it does work um you can see most of the missiles this is three flying swirls so <laughs> it's a, it's a little hectic but see there it did get all the missiles um but it it is a good test um but yeah if you guys have any uh, more qu holy hell Well then, there's a flaw. I'm not sure why the uh, laser defense isn't going for the mines. Maybe because it doesn't have a heat trail, maybe they changed the profile on it, that is very weird. But as you notice, it's the, only, the mines are the only thing not getting attacked. I have to figure that one out. But if, uh, if you guys have any questions in the comments, go ahead. Um, and leave them. Try and get to them. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and uh, subscribe. Uh, I'll be coming out with a uh, steam engine video here in a little bit. Uh, thank you as always for watching and uh, take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.